functional spine and sport. And this is our next video on why you get knee pain. In this video, we're going to talk about meniscus injuries or meniscus tears. So we can go to the whiteboard here and show you some anatomy first and then how that happens. So the knee joint, this is looking at it from the side. This is the femur and the shin, and then you have your muscles in the front and back, quad and hamstring, kneecap, and then you have your tendons and your ligaments. The meniscus actually sits between those two bones and acts like a shock absorber. So you need that meniscus cartilage to be super healthy. It needs to be squishy and thick in order to, to maintain that shock absorption. All right. What happens with meniscus tears is that stuff actually rips. So you can have a multiple different types of tears, but we'll talk about the two most common types and then what that presentation looks like. The first type is an acute type of tearing, which you generally see in younger populations. So active uh, individuals, maybe in their teens, 20s, even up to in their 30s, that cartilage is usually still pretty thick and pretty healthy. So you'll get more of an acute style injury where one day you're fine, the next day you're, you're running or you're cutting, and then all of a sudden it rips and it's really painful. The other type that you can get is more of a chronic degenerative type of tear where it's almost like a fissure in, the, in a crack in the ice, all right? This is the kind that's kind of like a dimmer switch being turned up as you age. Like the pain is like, yeah, it's kind of there. And then as I age, it gets a little bit worse and a little bit worse until it's all of a sudden a lot more painful to use and to bend. Most injuries to the meniscus do not require surgery. And in fact, a lot of the research out there shows that medications and surgeries, in fact, speed up the process of causing that meniscus to wear down faster. And you need as much of that cartilage as possible. So there's some rare cases where surgery is the first best option, but the majority of times it's not. So the, the most common reason why that meniscus is going to get injured in an acute or chronic phase is because you've already lost function around the knee joint. So Dr. Schultz already talked about adhesion in the muscles and the ligaments and tendons. That makes your knee less flexible and it makes it weaker, which makes it more prone to an injury, like a meniscus injury. All right, so that's generally how that happens. So we hope you found this video helpful. Be on the lookout for our next video on why, we get, why you can get knee pain. And then the next coming weeks, we'll talk about what you can do to get this knee pain fixed. Thanks for watching.